Now, Trudy is here with all we need to know when it comes to lipstick. Morning, Trudy. Morning. So it's one cosmetic item that most people will not be without. I know. It's what's on trend? Look, it's really exciting actually. I haven't bought in a traditional lipstick bullet this morning at all because there's so many other exciting options. But they all give you the look of like you're wearing a lipstick, which is the fun thing. So matte is very hard. It's a hard finish to wear <laughs> it's, generally, isn't it? It is. And matte's definitely on trend, but more lacquer matte. I think the thing with matte lipsticks is that your lips need to be in great condition. So first of all, you need to make sure that you prep them and prime them with some sort of moisturiser or balm. I mean, I think, you know, running a little bit of concealer around the lip line is always a good idea. I put my eye cream on my lips because it's really nourishing and a lot of people don't know that, especially if you're getting fine lines around your eyes, like the little bit of excess from your eye cream, pop it around your lip line, that always helps. Really? Yeah, That's it does. So it's just keeping aware of what condition your lips are in and then going with a lipstick finish that's going to suit that you know so if you've got very dry lips a matte lipstick's going to look caked and cracked really yeah. quickly so go for something a little bit more liquidy like a gloss maybe so moisturize your lips first yeah though. i think so that's and this time of the year is terrible everybody's got dry it lips. is in and out of the heating and everything exactly so what's on trend color wise i think there's a real move towards a more naked look on the lips and a more nude look um makeup artists say that lipstick looks best a couple of hours after it's been been applied and I actually agree because that line is a bit softer, it's a bit more muted, it's a bit more blotted back and if you can find a lipstick colour that's a couple of shades darker than your natural lip, you can wear it with everything and you can add colour over the top so it's like your base, it's like a pair of Spanx, a good pair of Spanx, you know <laughs> when you get your basics you've got this gorgeous shade that just highlights your natural lip look, you know, the, your lip definition, mm. and you can wear it with anything. It's, it's, I reckon that's the secret. So everyone needs to find look. a good nude, but you also need a decent red as well, and red can be a bit tricky in terms of sort of bleeding into the fine lines and things. Yeah, red is tricky, and I, you know, my, my go-to is always look at your face. If you're tired, pump up the lips and knock back the eyes. If you're feeling like your lips are a little bit dry, put more makeup on the eyes and go for a nuder look on the lips. So look at your face and see what it needs. Red is a fabulous colour, I love it. It is hard to wear. Um, you need to find a, a good red that suits you, whether a blue or an mm. orange based red. And always blot it back. I think the biggest mistake I see is that women go, yay I'm wearing red lipstick and they put so much of it on that all you see are these red lips. Yeah. I mean, if you blot it back and have just a beautiful stain of red, it's really flattering, especially as you get older. You and know, then it's, it's less likely to go up into the wrinkles, That's and it's right. less likely to go on all the cups and on your teeth That's and across right. your face when you wipe your mouth. I'm or when your hair blows and it goes through your yeah. hair with a, a glossy finish. So lip pencil or no pencil, what's your take on that? Well, I if I wear a lip pencil, I put it all over my lip. I don't put it on the outside, because the minute you just put a ring around your lips and then add colour, and even Eat something or drink something, you've got a really unattractive yeah. big ring around the outside of your lips. Hello, so, 1995. Yeah, make sure if you're going to use lip liner, and um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Again, it depends on the finish of the lipstick. Make sure you put it over the entire lip area and then apply the colour, okay. and that way you don't get that nasty ring. So let's talk products. What have you bought let's today? Let's talk products. I'm super excited about Max Factor at the moment. This is a new. Um, it's called Colour Elixir Lip Cushion, and it's got a beautiful little cushion on it, a hybrid balm. But the thing I excited about with um, Max Factor is that they're actually tailoring their products at the moment for women and not girls and we're a bit millennial obsessed at the moment in this country with cosmetics so there's some really great nourishing benefits to it it's got enough colour payoff so it gives you good colour but it's also nourishing which is what you need. Ooh, excellent. Um, I bought in this, it's not brand new but they've got a new collection from Elizabeth Arden this is their liquid lipstick which is fabulous for red you know um, it gives a beautiful stain it's a little bit of a shine, which is nice, and it lasts for hours. So you don't get that bleeding, which oh, is gorgeous. And I've that's that their one. liquid lipstick. That one works really well, doesn't go into the wrinkles either. Um, a gorgeous one that's about to launch from YSL, and it's called Veloctu Liquid Colour Balm. And again, this balm movement's coming through, this hybrid balm, where you've got the nourishment Ooh. of balm, but got the payoff, the colour payoff of the lipstick. And that one's got a water, it's a high water content, so it's ultra hydrating, it's beautiful. Good, which is what you need in winter. Um, and this one's from Lancôme, the Lancôme Labsolute Lacquer. Now this is a true lacquer, and it actually just glides on your lips, doesn't bleed, beautiful. I think there's eight shades, seven shades, really great bright colours. Again, a little bit sheer, so you can get that beautiful natural look, but pump up the colour, and so you haven't got an opaque finish to the lips. I should lips. really moisturise my hands before we do this, shouldn't I, before I put everything on. <laughs> it's um, good actually to see it on your hand, you know, a lot of people don't, don't 
test their lipsticks like that, but um, it's good to have a That's look at nice it. That's nice about Vrishia too. Yeah. This one. Now this is just such a great idea. This is your sugar fix at three o'clock without the calories. This is Oh Sweetie, which is a MAC range, and they're all sweet. They taste like lollies and cupcakes and chocolate brownie, and they are so delicious. Perfect. But a gorgeous, moussey type texture, and they're long lasting glosses. Which Excellent. Is really exciting. Thank you. That's not going to cut it for a cupcake, but I see what they're doing there. Hey, thank you so much, Trudy. You're welcome. Now, for more from Trudy, head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz.